Hi there. So in this video, I wanted to talk about five good habits that you can start to do to change your life. Okay. If this is something that you desire in your heart, you truly, truly want to change your life. These are five good habits that you can start to do right now today. Okay. Habit number one. Stop blaming others. <laughs> okay, habit number one means that you take responsibility for your words and your actions. You are your own person. Okay, now, if others have done things to you that you don't like, then don't do them to others. Okay, this is what I've always picked up on. If you've had an experience in your childhood, you know, your parents have done certain things to you. Say, for example, my mum, you know, always used to hit me and like, smack me and she'd always yell at me. So I always swore that when I'd become a parent, I wouldn't do those things. Why? Because I didn't like them. They didn't make me feel good and I never learned anything from them. Like I was never told what I did wrong when I got smacked. I'd just get yelled and smacked at and sent, you know, off to my room. <laughs> so number one, if there are things that you don't like, okay, change them. You yourself already have that in your mind that I didn't like it, so I'm not going to do it to others. So already shift that perspective in that direction. But number one is to stop blaming others. Okay? Stop blaming them. These experiences you had are for you to know what you want and what you don't want. It's not for you to keep doing them or for you to keep blaming these people or whoever it was whether it was the bullies, you know, in your childhood, whether it was your parents for whatever. Number one, stop blaming, okay? There, there are gonna be lots and lots of videos coming up, okay, of how we can work with this so that you can move away from the blame game, okay? We can stop blaming. We don't need to do that anymore, okay? We can start taking responsibility. But one step towards not doing the blame thing anymore is let's take away what we didn't like and make sure that we don't do it. Okay, let's let's learn from that. If we didn't like that experience, let's not do it. Moving forward now, let's make that decision that moving forward, we're going to do better. We didn't like it, let's just do something better. Okay, something that's not going to make other people feel that way because we know how it feels and it doesn't feel nice, does it? So let's stop blaming them because there's going to be lots of videos talking about all of that as well. So you'll understand that you won't need to do that anymore. Okay, and let's take responsibility for us from this moment on. Okay, no more blaming and we'll take responsibility moving forward for us, for our words and for our actions. Okay, number one, stop blaming, take responsibility. Okay, number two, pay attention to what you're attracting okay in your life start to pay attention this is a good habit because if um there's something that keeps coming up for you it is meant for you it's something that you're meant to be experiencing you need to start looking at it because if you keep ignoring it because it's not something that's pleasant in your life right now if you keep ignoring it it's just going to keep repeating okay because you're not addressing it so pay attention to what's showing up in your life. Like really start looking at it. What patterns keep repeating? All of us have patterns that repeat in our lives and they're there for a reason. So a good habit is to start noticing what is it that's showing up in my life? Why is it there? You know, start having curiosity for it. Why is it showing up? Why is it there? You know? So number two, pay attention to what's showing up in your life. And number three, today I'd like you to make a list. I'd like you to make a list of all the things that you love about yourself. You know, throughout our lives, we're told we're, we're this, we're that, we're the other. A lot of the stuff when we're growing up is about, you know, them telling us that we're not good enough, that we're not worthy, that we're not... You know, we really sit to look at, well, what do I love about myself? What am I good at? What do I feel that I'm good at? Or what do I like? Do I like my hair? Do I like my hands? Do I like my smile, my eyes? What is it about yourself? 
that you really enjoy that that's you, you know? So today make a list, a beautiful list of all the things that you love about yourself. Look at that list, look at all the beautiful positive things you can see about yourself. There is so much to love. It can be anything, it can be the way you walk, it can be the way you dance, the way you laugh, the sound of your voice. You might be a good singer. I love my voice when I sing. You know, it could be anything. You could be amazing at cooking. I love how I cook, I'm so good at it. I love that I'm a good listener. You know, when my friends have problems, I'm so good at listening to them. They feel heard, they feel seen. I'm such a good listener, I'm such a good friend. I'm honest, I'm trustworthy. I'm, look, there's so many, I'm kind. There's so many things that you could love about yourself. I love my own company. I love being by myself. You know, it can be anything. But make a list and start looking at all the things you love about who you are already. So that's number three. Number four, I'd like you to make another list. And in number four, I'd like you to look at the things that you can improve about yourself. Things that would make you feel good about who you are if you were doing those things or if you were those things. And then work towards doing those things. You know, if it's you want to be a dancer, take up dance lesson, lessons. You know, if you want to be a singer, take up singing lessons. If, uh, you know, anything, anything that you can think of that you would like to improve. Or they could be simple things, really simple things. I could be more kind. I could be a better listener. You know, all the things that we said from the list before may not be on your list. I could be more patient. I could be more patient. When my children come to ask me for help with their homework, I could be more patient. You know, there's always things that we could be better, that we could improve as human beings. Always room to be better. It's never too late to improve something about yourself. And then add that to your list of things that I love about myself. And the fifth thing that I'm going to ask you today, the fifth good habit that you can start to change your life is to look for things that you can be grateful for right now in your life. Do you have a partner that loves you? I'm so grateful for this partner in my life. Do you have children that love you? I'm so grateful for my children. There's so many couples out there that can't have children. My husband and I were one of them for a really long time. If you have children, give thanks for your children. No matter how challenging they are. What else can you be grateful for? Did you have wonderful parents growing up? Give thanks for those wonderful parents. If you have your health, if you can go for a walk every day, give thanks for your beautiful health, for your legs that carry you everywhere. If you have eyes that see, you can give thanks for all the beautiful things that you can see in the world. If you have ears that hear, you can give thanks for all the beautiful music that you get to enjoy. There's so much that we can be grateful for, so much. It's just a question of looking you know we're not used to I didn't grow up with you know we were made to feel shame and we were made to feel guilty and all these other things we had massive guilt trips when I was little but never were we taught to look at things to be grateful for and there was so much to be grateful for and there still is you know all the beautiful things that you get to eat every day that you can enjoy the textures the tastes the all of it. Give gratitude for all of that. Make a list today. At least 10 things 
And if you'd like to share them with me, with us, I'd love that. 10 things that you could be grateful for today in this moment that you already have right now. You know, so many of us don't realize that the things that we have, the life that we have, there are thousands of people in the world, if not millions that wish they had what we have. If you have food on your table every night, if you have clothes to wear and you've got a variety of clothes you can change into, if you have shelter over your head, you know, we take all of these things for granted, but not everyone has this. We are lucky to have them, you know? And learning to be grateful, to give thanks for what we already have in our life, it teaches us to look at all the good things we already have that we don't even, we're not noticing because we're too busy looking at the negative things. You know, we're taught to look at the negative things within ourselves and within others. These are the upbringings that we're having in these cultures in this day, you know, in this day and age. We're not taught to be grateful and look at the wonderful things that we already have. So let's flip the switch today. Let's do those five beautiful things. You have five good habits to change your life. And they're very easy. One, stop blaming others. Take responsibility. Two, pay attention to what's coming into your life. It's there for a reason. Number three, make a list of all the things that you love about yourself. Number four, make another list of all the things that you could improve about yourself. Or some things, doesn't have to be all the things, but things that you would like to improve about yourself that would make you feel better about who you are. That's what I'd like that list to be. Make a list about the things that you would like to improve to make you a better person. You know, that you'd be proud of. This is who I am. So find areas that you can improve. That's number four. And number five is find 10 things that you can be grateful for right now in this very moment. I'm sure there's a lot more than 10, but I'd be happy with that. Right, my darlings? A good life starts with good habits. You know, and throughout our childhood, we're taught, you know, not so good habits. I know, <laughs> because, you know, that was my childhood. I wasn't taught beautiful habits for a beautiful life. And so you go through your whole adult life, you know, lost confused, angry, afraid. But we are here to take responsibility for our words and our actions. So we can start with good habits to create a good life right here, right now. That's what we're doing, taking responsibility for ourselves, for our actions, for our words. Right, my darlings i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you as always in the next video bye for now